After you have completed the tutorial you will be able to connect and control a LED light. You will be able to connect and control the PIR motion sensor, and, you will be able to set a potentiometer and a photoresistor. For implementation on the Smart Home 4 Seniors house model you need the following. A Raspberry Pi Pico. A full-size breadboard. A micro USB cable. 14 male-to-male -male jumper wires. For LEDs. The PIR motion sensor. The potentiometer. And the 220 ohm resistor. At least three installation steps are required for installing and controlling an LED with a PIR motion sensor. First, install the sensors. Secondly, Connect the electronics. Thirdly, write a program code. First you have to implement the LEDs. The first LED light needs to be mounted on the left side piece of the smart home for seniors house model. Insert the LED to the mounting hole. Friction will keep it in place. The green LED light needs to be inserted in the right side piece in the mounting hole. The yellow LED needs to be mounted in the front side of the house model. Insert the LED in the mounting hole and friction will keep it in place. To insert the PIR motion sensor in the smart home for seniors house model, you need two bolts and two nuts. Mount the sensor through the top left and bottom right mounting holes. Please note, the red LED will be connected directly to the breadboard as a status indicator. For installing the LEDs, connect the longer end of the LED to 220 ohm resistors. Connect the resistors to GPIO 10, GPIO 11, GPIO 12 and GPIO 13 and connect the shorter end of the LEDs to the GND rail. For installing the PIR motion sensor, connect the red cable to the 5 volt rail. Connect the black cable to the GND rail. And connect the yellow cable to GPIO 22 pin. For installing the potentiometer, connect the black cable to the GND rail. Connect the orange cable to GPIO 27 ADC pin. And connect the red cable to 3V3 power pin. Turn the potentiometer to the left, so it's off. For installing the photoresistor, connect the right leg of the photoresistor to a 220 ohm resistor. Connect the other side of the resistor to the GND rail. Connect the right leg of the photoresistor to the GPIO 26 ADC pin. Finally connect the left leg of the photoresistor to 3V3 rail. For generating the program code you will find a detailed description in the learning module. Please follow the instructions there. You will learn how the software and hardware components work together. And, you will get to know more about Thonis environment and its additional functions.